All right guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is super exciting. I've been wanting to make this for a long time, kind of since this product got um, announced and released, and that is the Scarroy RCP Pro for Red Komodo. So if you don't know what this is, this is a shader panel. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's a control panel that lets you have full camera control remotely, traditionally used in traditional broadcasts. So Sony, Panasonic, the list goes on, they all use shader panels. And typically your controls for the camera are done by a shader in the control room or the truck. And the idea behind it is, is that the camera operator doesn't have to worry about color, exposure, any of that thing. A professional sitting behind these controllers with a professional monitor is the one that is watching everything and controlling everything to give you the best outcome for a broadcast possible. Now, traditionally, you get a CCU like this and there's a bulky cable or a fiber or SMPTE cable and it has to go to your camera and it's kind of a lot of cabling it's a lot of work and traditionally it only works with broadcast cameras not cinema cameras like the red komodo here but the cool thing that scarroy has done is they've enabled you to control everything in this red komodo remotely via a network so the red komodo already has the capability to be controlled via a network using the ip address on your computer um, the red control app on your phone or your iPad. And because of that control that's already built into the Komodo for the network, they're able to take all those controls, stick it into a normal RCP panel, and now you can control it with a traditional style panel, which is really, really cool. You can do that over Wi-Fi or Hardline via Cat5, um, depending on how your Komodos are set up. Now, if you're using a Komodo like this one, um, this is connected to it via Wi-Fi, and I have a dedicated network set up for it right now. Now, if you wanted to hardline the normal Komodo, you need the Komodo link adapter and then USB-C to Cat5. Note that only right now the Apple USB-C to Cat5 and the Belkin USB-C to Cat5 are the compatible ones with the Komodo link. Um, as far as Red's concerned, that's the ones that they approve right now. Um, with uh, Komodo X has the USB-C port built in and same with the Raptor so you can just go right off there no Komodo link needed USB-C to Cat5 into your network. Um, ideally you do have a dedicated network or at least a dedicated VLAN set up for the cameras so that way one it's secure people can't get on and change your cameras and two um, better performance which is really cool. But the cool thing with this wired wireless setup is my cameras on sticks can all be wired in to the panel which gives me ultimate connectivity it won't drop out all that kind of stuff same with you know I'm going to be hardlining the SDI the same idea but with my handheld cameras that are going to be wireless with like a Teradek or something or my uh, cable cam which is also running a Teradek or some sort of wireless video I can also still have camera control wirelessly over the network which is really really cool Traditionally, you couldn't always do that or it took some clunky bits to be able to get that type of camera control. Okay, so there's two things that I wanna talk about today with this panel. Um, one is what you can control, but then two, how do you configure it? How do you set it up? Because that can be a little complicated if you're not used to networking things and Scarroy's uh, way of setting it up is not as intuitive as I would like it to be, but once you do it, it makes perfect sense. And so let's get into that. So on the back of the panel, you have your DC 12 volt power, your Cat5 port, and your USB port. To set it up, you're gonna need to connect your Cat5 to your router or your switch or whatever you wanna connect it into your network with. And then you need to configure it on an IP. The easiest way that I've found to configure the IP is connecting the USB cable to your computer and use the updater app. Once your device is connected, you can select it from this drop down right here and then go to IP config up here and you can type in your IP and click apply. Once that's done, you can connect in your Cat5 to your network and then you go to 
your IP of this unit into your browser, and then you'll come up with the username and password. The default is admin and the password is Garhoy. Um, and then you get into your configuration window here. So you can see I have an RCP Pro connected right here. Um, this is where you can change all of the settings for that RCP Pro. And then you can add your devices over here. So as you can see over here, I have camera one and camera two. These are the two Komodos that I have connected right now. And to add a device, you just click add device right here, add device manually. You can search for Komodo. It will pop up RCP2, select, and then you can put in the IP address here. And that's how you add another Komodo. The cool thing with this panel, which isn't traditionally done with panels, is I can connect multiple to this panel and not have to have one per camera. So I could have a much smaller rig with like one or two, maybe four of these for like a 10 camera shoot. And I can be switching between the cameras if I don't need to be constantly adjusting things. Usually I, we don't have to constantly adjust things, but it is still really cool to have. So to be able to select different cameras on your panel, you go, you hold the shift button right here and you can see my purple and yellow buttons that show up right here. And just by clicking that, now I'm on the second camera, you can see it lights up cam two and back to cam one. And to change that over in your software here, if you click on the camera selector, this window pops up. So I'll close this up and okay, come camera selector. So then you can see the cameras, you can name them. This is what shows up on the panel. You can change their color right here and you can change any of the information that you want. You can also mute it. So that way that camera can't be controlled, that kind of thing, all in this window here. So once you do that, like let's change this color from yellow to green. And then I go back to my shift and now you can see that that camera is now green. And that's how you can switch back and forth between different cameras on one panel, which is actually a, an amazing feature. Okay, so now let's talk about what you can do on the panel, because this is where it gets really cool. Obviously your main thing that you see on all panels is this joystick right here, which controls your iris. As you can see, when I flip over to my Komodo, I'm controlling my iris here. Um, that lens goes to 2.8. I can shift over to my other camera, which is this guy right here. And I can control it here as well. And that one goes up to 1.8, but it goes much deeper than being able to control your iris. Um, on these buttons here, you have um, your home, which lets you control things like your ISO. So just by doing this, I can control my ISO. I have my shutter, so I can change my shutter to whatever I want it to be in steps, which is really, really nice. Not always can you change the steps, that's fine. Um, obviously your color temperature and then different offsets for your red, green, and blue. Go over to exposure. This is where you have, again, iris control here if you want to. Um, your display preset. So you can go HDR or SDR um, or HLG right here. Um, you can change your highlight roll off from very soft and then your contrast um, again, as well as your ISO is still right here. So these buttons are really just changing your top menu here. And then color one, um, you have your offsets, red, green, blue, color temperature, and then enable CDLs on or off. And then um, color two, you have your power red, blues, saturations, all that with tint control. Um, and then I can even control audio. I can turn on or off, switch between internal, external, change the gain of the audio controls, whatever I need to right there. And then back to home. You can see I have my recording right here, push to auto white balance. My iris is obviously displayed here and right here. Um, this joystick is really, really nice that you can control that. You can also lock it. So now nothing can be controlled. So if you leave the desk, lock out, which is awesome. And then obviously your shift key, which lets you change um, different parameters, but also lets you select different cameras. And that's really just scratching the surface of what this device can do. So much of it can be fully customizable in the software. You can go to configuration, you can click on any parameter, and then there's so much that you can control and change what the knobs and everything are doing. It's pretty crazy customizable. Standard configuration also works really, really well. So if you're looking to have a more normal broadcast setup with your cinema cameras, that's where introducing this, the RCP Pro, can really benefit you. Um, we use these live, and then we've also started to integrate them into different setups that are fully installed, which is kind of where I see 
this more being beneficial is in the install uh, broadcast facility, whether that's your church or your venue, but also it's really easy to take these on the road and use them portable as well. Lastly, I just wanted to mention with this panel, if I'm doing a capture only, which means I'm only capturing the concert film, I typically won't use uh, this panel because I'm gonna record raw, everything's internal, we set the settings that we want, but I can change a lot in post later. For a live broadcast, that's where this comes in more handy because I can control stuff in the control room or the truck um, and have it more fine detailed because we are broadcasting to a live audience. If you have more questions about this or any other camera gear, feel free to leave it in the comments below and I will try to answer it or make another video talking about it. And if you are interested in getting this integrated into your facility using your Komodo or Raptors, make sure to reach out to info at octaneaveal.com and we can help you get set up with one of these into your facility. If you can hit subscribe, it really helps me out with being able to create more content like this. I love being able to create content that helps you guys with your films or your broadcasts.